Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to issue 97 of Building Marvel's Iron Man. Uh, this one we're doing a couple of repetitive builds, but it's all part of the alternate stances that you can have him positioned in. So uh, yeah, uh, Iron Man 3030, I'm assuming a futuristic sort of uh, storyline. Uh, 31st century, there you go, the year 3030. Hmm, okay. Look overly futuristic, a lot of it. I mean, you've still got, you know, parasols and things, but there we go. Uh, yes, so this is what we're building. We're building the pelvis for position C and D and assembly position A. They're going to talk, to talk us through assembling. But uh, yeah, basically we're putting these together, which do appear to be identical. I can't see any differences between them, but obviously they're going to be different when they're attached to the different hip sections. Uh, so yes, this is joining the hips to the legs, which it says to screw them in place. But then it says you can take it apart to change it. So yeah, I'm not going to screw it in place permanently until I decide on a permanent pose. But yeah, there we go. And it's going to look much like that. I, I won't be showing you that today. Uh, I've got an idea planned for when we've got all of the uh, different parts together. I shall do another video of the different poses and things. But uh, suffice to say, it looks quite good. Uh, so yes, let's get that built in just a minute, and then we'll have Iron Man looking like that in the position A, which is just standing up straight. Position B is the twisting one, which, to be honest, looks a bit rubbish. I don't like position B. Uh, C and D, I think if, at least one of them is the, the punching the ground hero pose, which does look quite cool. I'm, I'm torn between the standing up straight and the hero pose, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, but looking at the Stark family tree, Stark and uh, baby Stark, and yeah. Anthony Stark, there we go. Cool, that's that and all about that. Uh, so the next issue, we're building the abdomen and hips for positions C and D, part one. And uh, then part two obviously is coming in issue 99. And 100, I'm not entirely certain what comes in issue 100. I don't have the final two issues yet. But we'll get there, we'll get there. So uh, let's get these put together and then see how things look. Okay, these are the parts. So yeah, these appear to be, as far as I can tell, identical in every way. In fact, it, it doesn't matter which one of these you would pair them up with. Uh, if I can pair up the halves correctly. Um, they look identical. So uh, yeah, all, all we have to do with these is what we've done before. Uh, if I get it the same way around as I've got it in the picture, and then we'll figure out what goes where. This is the, the catch goes that way around, the spring goes on there and is supported in that bracket there. That goes in there, that goes down into there like so, just like that but without it pinging out. And that goes in there, a bit like that, come on, no you want to. There we go. Uh, this is what gets pushed by the part of the armor on the outside. But before we can do that, we've got to put the other half on there without it all pinging everywhere. Tricky bit. There we go. Almost, almost, almost lined up. I can, I can feel it almost there, but not quite there. There we go. That's it. That's that there. So we've got the bit there that gets pushed, which releases this hatch on the inside here. But that needs to be held in place with three of these screws, making sure you get the correct screw holes. Let's get, well, I'm going to need six of them out, aren't I? So uh, three, four, five. One more. There we go. Uh, so. There we go. So we got the two across the top. Like that. And top one of those two. Why not the bottom one? I can't remember. I think the bottom is the bottom one not held in place with something else as well, or I don't remember. Got two extra screws in there, so hmm. Uh, close the pillars, put the other part in, yeah. Without any problems yet. 
yeah just says with three screws and then repeat for the other one so yeah that's that's one completed i shall do the other one behind the scenes and not bore you with me doing that again and finding something to waffle about so i'll end up with two exactly like that and that will be that uh, and then obviously we've got to join this to the legs I shall, i'll show you how that works let me get this built and then i'll bring in the legs and show you how this connects up okay so there we have two of these which are identical as well to the one that's fitted in there uh does that one that one does have another screw ah this has got that bit i remember now yeah that screw there's a armor plate that goes through there and that holds that in place as well so yeah uh, so these fit basically you've got a little sort of notch on here that lines up with one deep in there so that lines up in there and then the back bit just sort of hinges round and clips in place just like that so that's a little bit loose at the front if you don't put that screw in but with all the downwards pressure it can't go anywhere so uh, yeah i'm going to leave that like that for now and then obviously you can attach the Propping parts to the top piece from there. Uh, be, be it either the uh, the dodgy twisty abdomen would go on there like that, or the straight one, which would keep make it keep going straight. So uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, I shall see you next time when I think we're going to be building up the the hip pieces around these in two different configurations. So we end up with four options. So I'll see you very shortly. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.